Hi right, Darrell, uh, nice to have you in the JVC chair this afternoon. Um, just a bit first on the environment and everything the kids have these days growing up in games, because obviously it's different to when you were growing up in the game, but there's so much more of a, a progression that's, that's very easy for a, a kid to follow and see how they're going to progress in the system. What was it like when you were growing up? Uh, well, whenever I, I play back home, um, for me, uh, I started with at the age of 12, uh, went to competitions about at the age of 13, and um, it was kind of like a, a free run. You could always enter uh, the men's uh, and the youths. Um, so uh, you could get good practicing against the men, and then if you won a couple of games, you'd be okay. You could have a, take that momentum into the youth tournament, uh, but uh, you always got a nice good match practice before at the men's stage I and mean, then they always played um, years later on because I think back home the time they got the like the last 16 that's whenever they would have started the, the youth tournament because it wouldn't have been there wouldn't have been 50 60 people there there would have been probably 20 um, and back then I, I, I was one of the top youths I wasn't the best uh, there was like a, a Shane Pearson uh, a Ricky Dunlop uh, a Grant McFarlane people that got in front of me um, but uh, whenever it turned to the men, uh, I was uh, I was the best for some reason. Uh, and we see now with the JDC Tour and the JDC World Championship, which is coming up in December. Yeah. It's a, a great environment for players to practice and sort of get used to the stage before they maybe progress to the senior rank. So that's, that's great to have that sort of environment for them to practice it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, for me, uh, since I joined the PDC, I mean, obviously we've all played in the stage. Doesn't matter where it is, it should have been men or youths. Uh, for me, uh, the youth, uh, the youth of today, they're they're going to they're going to get on so much better than probably what we did fifteen years ago. Uh, you got the youth tour. If they can go there now and uh, get the even the European tour, whenever they're playing on uh, a massive stage in front of three or four thousand people over in Germany, uh, it's a big advantage and. Um, we never, we never had that. Well, I never had that whenever we were younger. Maybe it uh, happened whenever you were uh, in England, Scotland, Wales, or something like that. Uh, we'd be lucky if we had maybe one or two hundred people there. But uh, whenever you're in front of thousands of people um, on the European tour in Germany, wherever it is, Germany, Holland, whatever, um, if that can give you an advantage, then whenever you progress, obviously through the years. It's uh, it's a great it's a great way to learn. Honestly, I mean, uh, you can't you can't pay for that experience. And um, whenever you go up there and do it yourself, you've won, lost or draw. Um, it's just uh, one of them things that you can tick the box and go at. The next time I play, I can uh, experience this, and I know what's going to happen. If it was three all, four all, or if I get nervous, or I know how to prepare right. And we see now we. Two eighteen-year-olds, Bradley Brooks and Jared Cole, both doing very well on the pro tour. Um, it's great to see the younger players challenging the, the elite of the PC like yourself and, and the Premier League players. Yeah. they're playing them week in week out. In the pro tour. Yeah, no, I mean that's that's what it's about, really. Um, a couple of years ago, we, if you haven't played on any kind of stage, uh, somebody would have went up and says, uh, "I play somebody." You would have thought, well, Darrell's going to win 6-1, 6-2. Uh, if your man plays well, you never know. He might win another two legs or something. They get nervous. But uh, I think the experience of giving them players young on is the best you can do. Um, I think it's like every other uh, sport now, like golf and, say, snooker, football. Everything's progressing so much quicker now. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that uh, Darts is going along with uh, all the rest of them sports. Uh, and just a final question, a tip for the for our youngsters at the JDC. Um, lots of them we see turn up and they just throw their darts and, and enjoy themselves, obviously. But um, in terms of more professional practice with their preparation and getting getting involved, getting used to a tournament um, in the build-up to it, what would you give as a tip for that? Uh, well, what I used to do years ago, I always, stay, uh, I always like to turn up early, um, prepare myself right, um and uh starting like practice games where well, well known player 
Uh, I mean, obviously, whenever we played US back home, there was always the men and uh, the US mixed together. So I used to, like, not pick a player, but I would have played against one of the top men players, and we would have done uh, one two one um, and some like nine darts and know, stuff like that there, and picked up that way kind of way. Um, no, so uh, no small margins to get there. Instead of you just going treble, treble, 20, treble, 19, stuff like that there. Instead of just concentrating on this part of the board, I mean, at the end of the day, you, you can't win a tournament without using the whole board. Um, so for me, um, instead of just concentrating on hitting 180s, tons, 140s, you got to go, you got to cover your shot. Uh, and if your cover shot's bad, you got to cover that shot, which is treble 18 or treble 17. Uh, and then uh, just really practice your doubles. So, uh, I mean, as we all know, as our players, uh, travel to don't win you games, doubles do. And um, that's, that's where the game starts.